the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Join us now from your homes and many other places as we gather around God's table to break bread and to hear His word. The Mass this morning is offered in thanksgiving to God for a happy birthday celebration. Tenth happy birthday celebration to Santa Paul Hill. He is the son of the uh, gentleman that died not long ago, Ian Paul Hill. The grandma has offered this man for Zander's 10th birthday anniversary celebration. With this in mind, on this ascension morning, let us confess our sins and prepare ourselves by God's own grace to enter fully in the mysteries of the bread and our bread. It is, he said, 
what you have heard me speak about. John baptized with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky, when suddenly two men in white were standing near them, and, said, and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken up for you into heaven, this same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. God goes up Shouts of joy, the Lord wakes up the trumpet blast. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. May the Lord of our Lord May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and perception of what is revealed, to bring you to full knowledge of Him. May he enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see what hope his heart all holds for you, what rich glories he has promised the saints will inherit, and how infinitely great is the power that he has exercised for us believers. This you can tell from the strength of his power at work in Christ. When he used it to raise him from the dead and to make him sit at his right hand in heaven, Far above every sovereignty, authority, power, or domination, or any other name that can be named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. He has put all things under his feet, and made him as the ruler of everything, the head of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills the whole creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation.
the eleven disciples set out for Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had arranged to meet them. When they saw him, they fell down before him, though some hesitated. Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to me. Go, therefore, make disciples of all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe all the commands I gave you, and know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. The Gospel of the Dear brothers and sisters, here again we celebrate Ascension 2020. In the church's teaching and our tradition as Catholics, we know that we celebrate Ascension. 40 days after the Lord has ascended to heaven. After the Lord's resurrection, he stays and leaves and walk and aid with his disciples. The number 40 that is mentioned in this celebration should remind us of the importance of numbers. Since the current COVID-19 lockdown, we no longer hear people's names who will have passed away The government report on a daily basis, five o'clock. We hear of numbers, how many numbers have been confirmed as having the virus and in hospitals or in other places recovering. We also hear of numbers of confirmed people, old and young, man, woman, who are fallen victim to the virus. Numbers are very much historical, but they also have different meaning. In the New Testament, for example, we have about 16 times 40 number was mentioned. One of those examples was the resurrection or the Jesus fasting before his ministry. In the Old Testament, that number may not have been mentioned less than 70 times. So when we use number 40, what does it really mean? scriptures or in our own church's understanding. One particularly as it relates to ascension, it means that Jesus, the number 40 should not be taken literally as one to three or five or to forty, but it should be taken in the context of the saying 
three years ago or three years time a period in history that something might happen a period in history in time that something did happen a period in time that we remember events or something so that's in the context in which number 40 should be taken from the scriptural understanding here Jesus is saying that I have been faithful to the Father and within this period of time I have in that faithfulness to God my Father done everything he asked me to do I have been a total son to my Father and he has been a total Father to me and within this period of time we set up an agenda agenda to save mankind agenda to preach the way agenda to teach the knowledge agenda to build the family agenda to unify humanity agenda to open the blind eyes agenda to heal the human soul agenda to lead all creatures back to God I have completed this within this space of time now I am about to go what is left now is for you in your own space of time to complete what God has given to you to do to achieve individually and collectively as a people and as a church that's the reason why St. Luke in the first reading as you know St. Luke the writer of Luke Gospel is equally uh, known to be the author of the Acts of Apostles. St. Paul and Luke reminded us in the first reading. You know in my first book referring to the Gospel, I have told you, I have dealt a great deal of it, but just for you to be double sure that this group of people, that this man Jesus Gaga, and indeed his followers, his disciples, his brothers and sisters. This is what he did. And I wanted to know count A, count B, count C in a sequential manner, orderly form, so that there wouldn't be any doubt in anyone's mind that Jesus indeed did come to the world, that Jesus indeed did suffer grievously, that Jesus indeed was a human being and God at the same time, that Jesus indeed did all the goods, and yet that Jesus indeed died because of the goodness that he showed to one human beings. Luke wanted to keep it in that context. And St. Paul, on that emphasis, in our second reading, he said that to the official, he made it clear to us that although this has been known to us and we continue to know it by reflecting on the scriptures and celebrating the sacrament, yet we cannot on our own achieve any of those except by the grace of God. So St. Paul appealed to us to know that if we rely on God's own grace, we can do everything. And thank God, I will say emphatically, that I have belonged to this church family. I say in recent times, at different times more than others, but in recent times, how those of you who are in the parish a WhatsApp group have gone all out to show solidarity, sympathy, prayers for our sisters and brothers who have lost love, uh, loved ones, for those who are still uh, sick among us, in various places and hospitals. That is a testimony of a church alive. That I am not on my own, you are not on your own, but collectively, together, Christ leads us. And that collective leadership of Jesus is all owed to the actions of the Holy Spirit walking in each and every one of us and walking in each and every one of us, through each and every one of us, and in that collective manner, working for the glory of God and for the betterment of ourselves. So I invite you and I encourage you again and again, do not give up on your prayers.
do not give up doing what is right, and also do not throw in the towel that things are too difficult. We are in this together, and together the Lord will see us through. So on this 2020 year, Feast of Ascension, let us remember that in Jesus we depend. In Jesus, he will lead us. In Jesus, we will be sure to reach our destination. May God bless you all and keep you safe. The Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the point of time, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he was buried from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of God the Father of Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. The Benefits. Lord Jesus, you promised us the Holy Spirit coming. By his presence, make us true witnesses to you and your message and your ministry on earth. Jesus wants us to teach all nations, including our own. Loving Lord, bless all parents our teachers and preachers, that they may keep alive our faith in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All authority has been given to you, Lord Jesus. May we always have love and respect for your name. May we continue to believe in your message against all the false messages of the world. May we forgive as you have forgiven us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All your teachings fit, fit together, Lord Jesus, and you wish us to observe them all. Show us how to live in your way. Save us from the misunderstanding, you. Save us from misunderstanding, you. Teach us the way of love and forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Two thousand years you have been with us, Lord. We trust that you will not desert us now. May we never be separated from you, since you are our hope and salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The apostles were told not to stay gazing after Jesus once he ascended into heaven, but to get on with their work. May we too get on with doing God's will until the day Jesus comes again. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are with us always, even to the end of the world. In silence, we pray for a stronger faith and for whatever else we need. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners.
Blessed are you, the God of our creation, that the evidence of the sea is bright above you, fruit of the earth and form of human hands, it will become a bright light. Blessed be God, the Blessed are you, the God of our creation, that the evidence of the sea is bright above you, fruit of the plant and form of human hands, it will become a spiritual light. Friends, my dear friends, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Father of the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good, his kingdom of the church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love. To Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the right to the highest heavens. As the angels gaze in wonder, may the angel between God and humanity, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head, and founder as well before. Therefore, overcome past the joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and every heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of the glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sabbath in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sabbath in the highest. We give you praise, Father, most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed humanity in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care. So that in saying you alone, the creator of the mind of dominion over all creatures. And when through this 
social media until you have lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again he offered them covenant, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world whose Father was holy, that in the fullness of time he sent your only God Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners, freedom, to the sorrowful of heart, joy, to accomplish your plan. He gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life, and that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from the Father as a first fruit for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in this world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, Lord, we pray in this same Holy Spirit, graciously satisfy these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by the Father most holy, Having loved his own who were in this world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread and blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you who have been with me, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Innocent away, taking the chalice filled with the fruits of the vine, he gave thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For these is the chalice of the blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Mystery of faith, save us, the God of God, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as you have celebrated the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we have been his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, we bring salvation to the whole world. Love the Lord upon his sacrifice, which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant to you love and kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that God have been to one body by the Holy Spirit. They may truly become a living sacrifice of Christ to the praise of the glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servants, Francis and Pope, Peter our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember ourselves, those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all, all of us, dear children, grant to the merciful Father that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
for the blessing of Joseph and his powers, and which were apostles and martyrs and saints in your kingdom. Then will the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we may glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I am not born to the children of God from my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be free. spiritual communion for all of you joining us at this mass. Oh Jesus, you came to suffer for me and to die for me. I love to be with you, to receive you sacramentally, for I cannot I beg of you to come to me spiritually. That my heart and my 
soul with the fuel of you to strengthen my hope and faith and to keep me united with you always. sacrament most holy all sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving the ever coming time all sacrament most holy all sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving the ever coming time O sacrament, O holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment time. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of his seven food to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Master said that, come forth, the disciples of Jesus. We shall sing him ninety eight, number four to six. <clears throat> 